So what good are uh, system event logs if you can't view them? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can view uh, Windows event logs using the built-in Windows event log viewer application. And like to give you some tips and tricks if you ever had to review them without using a SIM tool, uh, which yeah sometimes can be quite tedious. Uh, so, but first, if you are to new to this channel or are you first time seeing me welcome to my channel my channel name is as you can see cyberfolio chronicles and my name is jesh and i'm here to spread my passion for cybersecurity and yeah to make sure that every person in this world can somehow get to know at least a bit about what cybersecurity is and in this day of where internet is like basically the <laughs> biggest problem <laughs> as well as biggest solution for everything uh we yeah we often don't see the negative effects of it as well so yeah uh just in in general uh tips and tricks about many other different things like also i have yeah different things different projects that you can also look at to learn different uh tools um also i have things about sim tools i have about cloud uh and yeah if you like the video if you had some new information or just in general if you got to know new things make sure that you like and if uh yeah if you really want to stay along with different projects or different things that keep on coming up uh, i upload almost every week uh yeah so you can just subscribe to the channel as well and yeah hit the bell icon as everyone says <laughs> so to not to miss the like contents and the future contents that come up and also helps me uh in the youtube algorithm uh to like grow <laughs> in general yeah and also if you would want to um yeah look at my blogs like you can also visit my website as well i have blogs that i put on different topics of cybersecurity every week you can also subscribe to the newsletter if you are interested in it to have like regular updates on the blogs as well and yeah you can also look at my github if you want to have different things like some mini projects that i have there as well so yeah enough <laughs> enough of talking so let's get into the video so if you spend any time studying technology or working in the field there is an overwhelming pressure to automate process processes and like aggregate data review to make things easier to do it makes sense obviously no question that as the networks that you work on grow in size you are going to use scalable ways of doing things so yeah again this video is subject like video subject is a little counterintuitive to that because in cybersecurity there are situations where you find or like you may have to look at a single system in isolation for example if a system is compromised then we might actually want to look at that individual system for indicators of promise or the iocs that you might probably heard about we might also have to perform forensics like digital forensics to discover suspicious or illegal behavior when we look at a like basically a single system we aren't like going to a typically what we in general talk about seams so like we are not going to install a full-blown seam or logic or like log analysis tool instead so the event or the windows event viewer is one of the most basic tools that we can use to review an individual system like the windows event viewer is a tool that's built into windows and it's like yeah what, what we can do is now is that it lets you view events or alerts from applications the system itself and even security events that you're watching so like the windows event viewer can also be used by administrators to troubleshoot system issues but as security professionals um you used it like you will use it for deeper analysis of a systems log so yeah when you're looking to open the event viewer to view different logs the first step is to like basically actually install the event viewer and it can be done a few different ways but the easier way or like the easiest way is to just go to the start menu so like here and all you have to do is like you can just in this menu type event viewer so once you type it and then like 
where you can go and you can just click and open that so um yeah like just maybe resize it a bit so that it's nicer to view yeah um and yeah like it's then a bit more clearer now once you launch the event here you can see there's like few different folders there like so on the left side uh, the custom view folders allow you to create like custom filters based on event ids applications and so on and the windows log folder is where standard events are stored so here when you click here and those are like when you see application security and system these are like the three of the major logs for windows each log stores the type of events that it sounds like so application holds specific events for software installed security stores security relevant events like log on and log off events and like system has everything related to the operating system itself now the second way that you can open this up uh, as well is like do a similar kind of way by doing the start so again going to the start menu and you can click on computer management computer management and and then like here on the left side here you can see there is the event viewer so like the two ways that you can do the same thing um yeah just in case um uh, and by this point of time you are enjoying the content uh make sure that you like the video helps the youtube algorithm yeah i have to like always <laughs> add this up just so that yeah uh, people know that they can and yeah just in general like it helps me as i said to um yeah get more more known <laughs> as to say so yeah again all right let's get back to the video again uh so i'm going to show you how to filter these specific logs for the event uh, yeah that you can see so you can go ahead and click on security logs for let's take for an example here like you can see all the things like different logs that you can see and yeah so i don't have any specific like or special settings configured so this is like just all the default stuff that you can see but in order to filter this like some specific log we're going to go and like filter our current log so uh, for this like let's say uh, we select this log on filter and then like here clicking on the filter current log and so yeah just in general taking up any particular one which you want and here like you can in the event ids mention the log that you had so we selected the log on one which is like 4624 that's the event log <clears throat> and yeah this event id now we could also do is by application or a lot of different things but we are just going to do for this one particular event so you can see this now and like we will go and hit okay and here like now it will just show you everything that is related to this particular log so you can see like there are so many ones uh, just for this particular log log on event or like the task now so you can see that this is like for one specific event now something else that you can do in there as well you can like actually provide ranges of ids you also can like provide multiple ones of them so like when you go to filter logs and like and put a comma and add different ones and then it will show you more um and so just retracting back here you can see like the total number of events are like 3100 plus and as soon as we filter for this logon uh, id this task like it then reduces to 545 so like then it only shows this one and you can add more by as i said putting on the comma and clicking on different ones and what now i would also want to you to see is like uh how we can create a custom view for it custom views are like basically great if you want to 
like quickly see specific events using event IDs or even like related to specific applications. So custom filters can be exported to other systems and then imported on the other systems as well. So these are like two different ways that you can create a custom view. So yeah, the first uh, first way is like actually filtering filtering the system log, like um, how we did right now, and then we actually going to save this filter to a custom view. So yeah, this here you can see like save filter to custom view, uh, and then let's say like, like test and test one something like this, and then it like you can do is like click OK. And what you will notice here is that in the custom views, it's added up. So it saves in the custom view section. So then instead of going back to the system log or like actually filtering down into any particular like security log, anything like you can just go to the system view there. And then if you right click on the uh, here, like in the custom view, uh, you can like basically export this one. Uh, for some reason click the wrong one but yeah again here you can see like you can export the custom view and it will like basically save it in the xml file that you could go back into the other computer wherever you're taking it and then you can right click on the custom views so cancel custom views and like you can click on, click on import and here like you can select the file uh, where you created so in the second basically in the second computer and another computer and then find this xml file the second way that you can create a custom view is like again clicking here on the custom view on the right click and here you can see the option which says like create custom view and then you can create a custom view by uh, specifying the specific information if you wanted it to come from the security log specifically then you can drill down and like find out also like log how, at what time event logs you can like mention basically from which you want it so if you want it from security and specifically from security and the sources like mention all the things like you can select here and then again um, as i said like click on okay for it that's how you can do it so what we can do is like we would put uh, let's say from the security uh, log and let's select 1102 so i think it's this um yeah like the the log clearing uh, task id and when you click okay um we can make name it test 2 and then you can see like there will there's like the test 1 and test 2 so here like as we have not cleared the log yet um it will just show nothing at this moment and um, let's say like we go and you want to like yeah clear the logs you can then what you can do is like you can clear the logs and then we will see the test to having filled up, up again so like we go on security and here like click on clear logs uh, and then we click on clear and then all the security logs are cleared and then here in test 2 you will see that there's the event which says the event log was cleared and it was cleared by the security id of administrator basically so yeah here like it will generate like an event once you do it and yeah this was about like a general information general description or general video about how you can view um, different events using the windows event user viewer for like a specific computer for one single one and like yeah how you can navigate and define different things and i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you could get different informations and like in general a good uh, view on how the windows event viewer works and that you got proper information make sure that you play along get more information just yeah like try different things to get more hands-on experience about it and yeah like just play along with it 
and if you have any questions if you're stuck at some point feel free to comment down you can yeah just comment down and i will let you know like where you got stuck or if you need more information and as i mentioned before like yeah make sure if you, you like the video if you enjoyed it if this was a great help to you it also helps me uh, and it helps the youtube algorithm and yeah i hope to see you in the next or in the coming videos